thank you thank you for those who are joining us today um we hope you've been having a really inspiring day so far um in this session we're gonna play a video that is recorded by atifa mohammedi she's an iranian uh, graphic and type designer who studied and taught islamic calligraphy and arabic type design um, in her research presentation, Atifa actually argues that the lack of resources in Arabic type design um, has had a significant obstacle uh, for designers and the script itself as it was stagnating and slowing it down from being uh, more developed. And uh, she attempts to respond to the following question, which is um, what are the main factors for standardizing type? And in, of course, here in the context of Arabic type, um, unfortunately, due to the current uh, political situation in Iran, uh, she cannot join us live for a Q&A uh, since she is not able to access the internet, um, which, you know, um, I want to just take a second to highlight um, the power to um, the power of women in Iran who are really fearlessly fighting theocrats at this moment um, by leading this historic feminist revolution. And so women life freedom. And I would like to invite you with Toshi uh, and the rest of our team to listen to her video in support of her work. Thanks, y'all. Hello, everyone. I'm talking to you from Iran, where all women stand for their rights and the rights of all human beings. I'm so sorry that I can't be with you today because uh, we don't have a stable internet in Iran these days. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and if you have any question, we can keep in touch together by my email. Thank you so much. For women, life and freedom. Hello everyone, I'm Atifa Mohammadi from Iran and I'm so happy to have this opportunity to talk to you about Arabic and especially Persian typefaces and the impact of culture and habits of audience on readability of these typefaces. For years in Iran, we've been reading our books with just few limited fonts that the amount of these fonts are not the size of the finger of one hand, even our educational books or non-educational one. And this year, I checked many books in Iran Books exhibitions, and I saw only three fonts were repeated in 19% of books. Nazanin, Lutus, and Bad. These fonts were used in 40s and 50s, but they are still the most widely used. But why? Despite the advent of many different typefaces for print media and for publishing books and magazines, and despite the efforts of typeface designers to create new character according to the principles and rules of readability, publishers still use these few fonts. This made me start new research to find out the reason of this problem. For this research, I had some interviews with some typeface designers, Persian typeface designers, and editors and publishers to find the factors that have the important effect on readability of loyal texts. And I tried to evaluate the impact of these factors by testing the audience and book readers. But before dealing with the result of this research, let's start by studying the habits of Iranian audience and book readers and their writing culture. These are examples of the types of calligraphy that the Persian speaking audience is familiar with and has read their texts and books with for years. This is the Nairizi version of Nasr, which was used to write the text of the Quran for many years. And compared to the Yaguti version, it has an Iranian tone and character. Or Talib calligraphy, which was the first type of calligraphy for just Iranians. And finally, Nasalik and Shekas Nasalik, which Iranians consider to be the pinnacle of beauty in Persian writing. What is common in all these calligraphy items and what distinguishes them from the taste and habits of Iran's neighboring countries is the greater ratio of care form to their straight form. 
This circular movement can be seen in all the arts of Iran, and it seems that it is part of the culture and thinking of this land. Even when printing technology arrived in Iran, despite all the limitation of this technology for Persian calligraphy, calligraphers tried to find a way to preserve all the beautiful forms of letters of Persian calligraphy. You can see an example of early efforts of Iranian to use Persian style in the text of newspapers and books in these pictures. With the passage of time and the popularity of lead printing in Iran, the limitation of this type of printing caused letters to be displayed in the simplest possible way. Little by little, the use of some fonts such as Zar, Yagut, Nazanin, Lutus, and Bad became popular. And due to the long term use of these fonts, the Persian speaking Iranian audience got used to seeing them in books, newspapers, and magazines. And many believe that the Iranian audience is not able to read other phones easily in this media. In fact, they believe other phones are not readable. Let's take a look at the definition of readability and legibility to find out which font is readable and which one is legible. Although both terms are related, legibility is a measure of correct recognition of letters and readability is a measure of how easily a text and a set of letters and words can be read. In fact, readability is more important in long texts, while legibility is important in display fonts, where letter recognition is important. Look at this table. In it, you can see the criteria of both terms. There are two common factors in both of them that have differences. The first one is the form of letters, which is necessary for readability in accordance with the habits of readers and has a neutral tone and character. The second is the distance between letters and words, which is tighter in display fonts, where legibility is more important than the text font. Well, let's back to the main subject. As I said before, I had some interviews with publishers, editors, and typeface designers to find the answer to this question that why publishers still use a few limited fonts for books? And what is the main feature of suitable fonts for line texts? So at the end, I found some factors that I repeat a lot in these interviews. For example, the publishers and editors believe that the audience and readers will read fonts like Nazanin, Lotus, and Bad more easily because of the correct distance between letters and words. They believe that the reader is used to these distances. While in the past we had these distances due to the limitation of technology, today open types have provided us with more possibilities. But they believe that reduction of this distance between letters and words, which we see a lot in today's fonts and newest fonts, have a negative effect on readability. Also, unlike the typeface designers, they believe that text font should have a neutral character. So increasing in X height of letters that makes have open counter and line teeth will have a negative effect on readability because readers got used to the form of letters in fonts like Lutus and Bat. Or even though the Iranian audience is used to care forms, but fonts with this feature are not suitable for line texts. And they mostly use them for titles. On the other hand, they believe the break in the form of letters have a negative effect on readability. I know, this is so confusing. And fonts that don't have the thickness contrast are just suitable for graphic works, not for line texts. In short, the factors that have negative effect 
and readability in terms of three categories of publishers, editors, and typeface designers will be these items. Broken forms of letters, very low thickness contours of letters, open counters and long teeth, reduce the space between letters and words. They believe that the presence of these factors in a font turns it into display font and it's not suitable for line texts. To test this statement, we first create a category for Persian fonts. Look at this picture. One, fonts with a contrast of thickness and with a long X height and with a short X height. Two, fonts with a contrast of thickness and with a greater proportion of straight and broken forms and with a greater proportion of curved forms. And three, fonts without the contours of thickness and with a long X height and a short X height. And for each category, we choose a font representing the fonts in each family. Anjuman, Adobe Arabic, and Cara for a group of fonts with a contours of thickness and with a long X height. Mitra and Lotus for the group of fonts with contours of thickness and a short X height. Mitra and Caro for uh, a group of fonts with a contours of thickness and with greater proportion of a straight form. Adobe Arabic for a group of uh, fonts with a contours of thickness and with a greater proportion of care form. Iran Sans and Roya uh, for a group of fonts without the contrast of thickness and with a long X height and short X height. And to test the effect of the distance between letters and words on readability, Lotus font was chosen in IR and W formats. The story text was selected from a book to have the same tone and style of writing and specific words and names were not used in this text so that everyone could understand in the same. Each text was typed on a, an A5 page and before the test, 10 people were asked to read the text so that the average time needed to read each text was calculated. Three publishers were asked to help us with the layout of the pages to remove some influential factors such as margin, leading, and point size. And desired variable in this research include reading speed, reading comprehension, and number of blinks. Reading time was recorded after finishing each page. And to measure the audience comprehension, questions were considered for each text. Because as you know, typhus are media for conveying message in the fastest time. Therefore, reading comprehension is more important in the reading process. In addition, we know that reading is the product of going back and forth and stopping the eyes. This stop is associated with blinking. Blinking rate decreases when more concentration is required to read the text. And finally, the audience of this test were people between 20 and 40 years old and with 10 and 10 vision and average reading level. And finally, the results show that the character of the letters, where they have more care form or more straight and broken form, whether they have thickness contrast or without it, with high and low X height, the reading speed does not change significantly. The same goes for spacing between letters and words. Look at the chart of IR Lutus and W Lutus. Also, the character change and the distance between letters and words did not affect on audience's understanding, as you can see in this chart. But what has changed noticeably is the number of blinks. As I said earlier, 
wherever more concentration is needed, the number of blinks decreases. Reducing blinking line takes causes eye fatigue, and as a result, that food is not suitable for line takes. According to the diagram, it can be concluded that Fonts that have thickness contrast align with broken and straight forms, such as Mitra, Anjuman, and Kara fonts, are not suitable fonts for book text. And fonts that have the high X height, such as Anjuman, Adobe, Kara, Mitra, and Iran Sands, are also not suitable for line texts. Therefore, according to the obtained results, the most suitable fonts for line texts are fonts with thickness contrast and short X height, which are neutral in terms of character, so they should have an equal ratio of curved and straight and broken forms. Thank you so much for being me. If you have the same problem with the typefaces in your country, we can keep in touch together through this email. Thank you.